I'd like to share with you today a, a group of uh, tools that are called interactive whiteboards. And these are some new tools I've added to the digital backpack this fall. Um, and they're located underneath the category diagrams slash concept mapping. And these include dabble board, scrib link, scribble or scribble, <laughs> twidla, and show document. The one I'm going to use today is a uh, scribble. And uh, what these will do is they'll give you basically a blank page. And you can draw and write and do a whole bunch of other things on these. But um, with, if, if you look here at the bottom of Scribble, there's a, a web address. And if I give that web address to another person, they can join me in this space as well. So this kind of tool can be used to do um, some interesting, interesting learning activities. You know, for instance, if I, just, if I drew, some, uh, drew a little uh, table here, I could use this to do a, do a interactive KWL activity. So let's so see I've set up what's called a KWL, which is, which is a, an activity that we can create a chart where you, um, on one side you write down what you know about a topic, in the middle you write down what you'd like to learn about the topic, and then at the end of the class period you can write down what you've learned today. So if you can go to, if you're in your new web browser, go to this website here, http colon slash slash skrbl.com slash one two zero five six zero nine three three. And um, what I'd like you to do this about is about what you're doing in class. So you, you guys work in PowerPoint. So I'd like you to fill out what you know about PowerPoint and what you'd like to learn about PowerPoint. And so we, we can leave the, the third column blank for now. So this is a, this is the product after having a whole class work on this. And um, what I would suggest if you're using these interactive whiteboards in a lab setting is not to have all the students use the same whiteboard. If you have a class of, let's say, 30, maybe break it up into groups of 10, um, or maybe even, even uh, groups of 5. Because, because, uh, the because everyone is working on the same page, it's really eating up a lot, it really eats a lot, a lot of bandwidth. And so it can kind of, it can really slow the website down if you have more, more than five or ten people working on the same uh, whiteboard at the same time. Um, however, uh, you, you do see in real time everybody else um, in your group um, who's, who's collaborating on this, adding their, their information as they're adding it.